Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com on Code with Mike Friday and this is my last few minutes of the day. I'm going to try and get something useful done uh, so that when next I visit this I only have to worry about session. I'm going to try and get some of this work in during the day uh, throughout the week. Uh, Fridays are hardly enough time to get back into the swing of things when uh, you're away from it as I had been for such a long time especially given my recent Disney vacation. So this location.hash uh, is includes the hash mark uh, in, in it. So I'm actually going to say var my hash equals location.hash so then I can do a uh, substring uh, manipulation on my hash and uh, it's going to essentially be uh, this except instead of chopping off the last character I'm going to chop off the first character so uh, my hash equals my hash now apparently this sort of stuff can be done these days with slices but as you can in Python, but slices are somewhat new to JavaScript and I don't want to introduce compatibility issues. So now that we have the, um, the hash mark out of that variable, we can take a look at what we were forwarding to before. Oh, it's not in either one. I'm going to actually do this, although I've changed the code. So, no, it's not that changed. I'm going to do it once in its all the form. And I essentially have this. So all I'm really doing is replacing the hash with a question mark. And that should be exactly what I need for uh, grabbing it uh, by the server. So, uh, when I build this up, I put the question mark in. Hmm. The auto forward didn't occur from detecting the hash mark. That's interesting. But at any rate, if location.hash, then forward it to that. Oh, it was broken JavaScript. Plus my hash. That should do it. Didn't do it here. Might still be broken JavaScript. Let me try a new one. Login. Yep, almost definitely broken JavaScript. Inspect elements. There it is. Let's see what went wrong. Uncaught reference or oh str I kept an str in there where it should also be switched to mod hash. Go to this one, do a refresh, bam, hash mark becomes question mark, and that is uh, as far as I guess I really need to take it today. Uh, Localhost is now sitting on top of actually having access to this data. And on my next uh, video, I will grab this off of the query string. Python has a really great way of doing it. I should say Flask has a great way of doing that. You don't have to parse query strings. It's just in a uh, library or a dictionary object ready to grab by name, uh, which in this case will be access underscore token. And then I'll, I'll set a session, a Flask session object uh, with the key access underscore token equal to this. And then I will be able to use this throughout the rest of the session in the spot where I need to use it, which is in Gspread. And one link off of the documentation shows me where uh, we're going with this project. So if you have another method of authenticating, you can easily hack a custom credentials object. 
So you create a credentials uh, class and then you give it uh, a access token property. And so you can uh, create your own credentials object which can be used in the code in order to do a login like this, feeding it a credentials, an, inst <coughs> an instance of a credentials object without having to provide username and password. Thanks for joining me. I uh, hope to see you again soon, and don't forget to subscribe.